Thank you very much, Tim. Well, I'm all suited up to serve some hot dogs now. I got Daniel with me, who is Hello. the dog expert, I guess. Uh, now, with summer rolling around quite quickly here, I mean, it's warm outside. People love to sit down, have a scoop of ice cream, and have a hot dog as well. I mean, how, how many people are you seeing so far? Uh, today, it's, it's been a relatively slow start for the day, but people are out on the avenue now. They're, they're about uh, the shopping times. It's the, it's the weekend start, right? Everybody wants to get a little sunshine in. We haven't been getting a lot in the city, so it's, uh, it's nice to see people out now. We have probably about 30 people in the last little bit picking up. Well, this is a permanent location on White Avenue, this but I know is. that you guys got the Fat Frank's um, carts going around. You guys have uh, a, a festival and event uh, we, locations. We do carts all, the all over the city. We also do uh, every major festival that the city has to offer. We're uh, very lucky to be considered uh, a part of Edmonton in that sense that we're invited to all of these events. And we put on a good show and we, uh, we try to make sure we keep up to par with everybody there and I think everybody has a good time when they see Fat Franks in the area. So Oh absolutely. Nice Every time I see Fat Franks on my lunch break I'm like eh gotta go there. <laughs> <laughs> that, <laughs> that's what we're hoping for. Safe driving but yeah. we're, we're hoping for that anyway. Yeah. So. Um, now what kind of hot dogs do you use? Is it pure beef? Um, the, the hot dogs themselves are 80% beef, 20% chicken. There's no pork in it. Uh, there's uh, very little byproduct inside of them. They're very good quality. They're about 120 calories on average. Um, the dog itself. Uh, the Smokies, you're getting into more of the porks and uh, a little bit of beef inside of the jalapenos and the cheddars. But they're going to be mostly pork, honey hams, all pork, your Italian sausage, all pork, but uh, we're all pork. Uh, very good quality meats, all cut from the top of the animal. And uh, all, of our, uh, all of our product, we brought out a bigger, better bite recently, and it's all gluten free, so a lot of the celiacs can actually eat the meat products. We may not be able to serve them the buns, but uh, at least they can still eat our product and uh, enjoy themselves in the summer with a nice uh, smoky. There you go. So celiacs can come to Fat Frank's as well. Don't be afraid to come here. Uh, the, the thing that I do is I, every time I come here, I order, you know, the regular hot dog, put all the condiments on there. But do you guys have variations like chili hot, the chili cheese hot dogs? We have a chili cheese dog. We have an avenue dog, which is very popular on the avenue. It's uh, cheddar cheese, bacon strips, and a uh, jumbo dog. And... It's probably one of the most popular. Chili cheese is kicking up quite a bit. It's a very messy eat, but uh, <laughs> you know, there's a lot of diehards out there that want to get right in there, and it's it's nice to see them try. So it's good. <laughs> so yeah. trust me, by the end of the show, I'm gonna have ketchup right here, <laughs> mustard right here, some cheese right here, well, cheese. If we mustache. have our way, you will. <laughs> so do you think it's gonna be easy for me to learn how to make a perfect fat Frank? I mean, I'm I'm not really good in the kitchen. This is a problem that I have with boyfriends. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> is it easy to you know? learn the grill and everything? Um, I think it's relatively easy. If you have any cooking experience, it's a good way to start. Uh, it does take some time to get your cutting down, which is your most important. It's your presentation, right? Uh, how your product comes out. Uh, that, that probably takes a few weeks to kind of get into, but in a, in a day here, we can work through it. We can get yourself going. I'm pretty sure you'll come out as a professional in the end. <laughs> I'll give it a try. I'll try not to burn down this place. That's my priority number one. We also got Pam over here, this lovely lady. She's serving some hot dogs as well. So I'm going to give it a try right after the break. Stay tuned.